Hi there, Sagittarius. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at February 23rd through March 1st. And finally, the tide is turning. I know many of you have been wondering, when is it your turn? Well, I think March is going to be a really good month for you, basically due to the fact that Venus, the goddess of love, and Mars, the planet of passion, are both going to be transiting Aries which of course is your fifth house of romance, creativity and self-fulfillment and your fellow fire sign. And it really does mean that there's going to be a lot more passion around you. And it doesn't necessarily have to be passion for another person or other people. It can be passion for life and energy that you didn't know you had. And you'll feel as if your batteries have been really recharged and I, I'm not going. I'm not saying that it's going to happen overnight. It could take a week or so, and especially around March 20th, which of course is not this week, but that is definitely a date to write in your calendar when you can expect something wonderful to happen. For those of you who are waiting for something wonderful to happen, a lot happens in the middle of this week. When Venus and Mars trine up with Saturn, which of course is in your sign, and Neptune's clouds drift in front of the sun. The situation is complicated because, because these two alignments have very different influences. First, Venus and Mars coupled together in fiery Aries make a balanced trine to Saturn, also in fiery Sagittarius. And although any Saturn involvement can sometimes mean a delay, it's also a serious motivator for success because it strengthens your physical and mental endurance levels. So far things are looking good, but later on Wednesday, the Pisces Sun is scheduled for its yearly meetup with Neptune. And although the Sun and Neptune only get together once a year for a short two-day meeting, the influence of this combination can be significant if it happens on the same day you're trying to make an important decision. This Sun-Neptune combination is like a lighthouse in the fog. It can either illuminate or obscure. This doesn't mean you should stay inside and hide out, but you might have to dig deep inside to see the light that lies ahead. Make a space to be alone and let your intuition be your guide. If you get caught up in a do or die situation, take a tip from the Saturn trine and proceed with caution. It's really important that while all of this planetary activity is going on in Pisces, your fourth house of home and family, that you don't upset somebody in your home and family. Even your flatmate or your flatmate's friend who may be staying with you it's a really good idea to, to keep on the low and if someone is bothering you just to work out how you can sidestep them without causing any major ruckus and as I said if you're single it's a great time to mingle Aries are a great match up for you as are Librans and Leos and also we have those people born under the sign of Aquarius, which are a good match for you. Have a great week, great speaking to you, and I will speak to you again next week, Sagittarius.